everyone, Starfish Girl here, back for another video. Andrew G1, currently on level 108, camouflaged, and I was mesmerized. Uh, sorry, <laughs> the background picture currently on my computer screen is my favorite picture, one of my favorite pictures in the entire world of my brother and sister and I when we were younger, and I don't know, it's just... I don't know what it is. It's just an awesome picture. It's nothing special. It's just we're standing in beside whatever um, you want to call it. As well, my sister was in and we were beside, but that's beside the point. A wagon that, a little red wagon, radio flyer or whatever, and wooden one. And um, we're just in the backyard in like spring or summer or whatever, and the grass and all that stuff and it's just a really pretty picture and <clears throat> I didn't realize that was my background screen on my computer and until I went to go record and I was captivated by it and distracted so speaking of distracted let's start this level but at the same time I don't know if I dare okay uh oh I gotta turn the volume down um yeah let's just restart I had had the volume up because I was, um, editing <laughs> the last recording session, um, and some of it is still rendering because it's having trouble saving one of the video files that I have to add in order to make the full video because it's, um, was, ended up being a three-part video file to splice it together. Actually, no, I split it in two, but anyways, the second video, the footage for the second video is having trouble saving for some reason, so I was changing the file name, and so, anyway, um, I am distracted because I don't know where I was going with that. Ooh. This ought to be interesting. I don't even know. Whoops. I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to go, but... Wait, what? Okay. Nope. Okay, let's try this one. Maybe I was going right to begin with now. Aw. Okay, so it's totally random except that it starts out... Okay, that one starts out as double, so I'm not gonna do that one. Okay, that one starts out as boom boom, so maybe it's not so random. Whoops. Oh, I think it's because they're going back and forth. Maybe it's not so random after all. Yeah, duh. Whoops. Okay, this is easier than I thought, and it uh, than I thought, and it doesn't matter which way I go, cause what? Okay, for the most part, it's not random. Okay, I had the reflexes, but. My finger still didn't connect with the keyboard. Oh, and I was right there too. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. No, it came there that time. What the what? Okay, let's... Of course. I tried to go that way again and it decides to come. Figures. Yes. Well, that was easy. I guess it was supposed to be camouflaged because they're green on green and it's harder to see. I'm not really sure why. What I would like to do is know the mechanism that was causing that to go off though. So before we go onward, I just want to open the editor and see the mechanism behind it because that's really cool. Um, wow, I'm just all over the place in blankingness. Uh... Right, the editor, <laughs> which is, oh, I guess I can, never mind, that was the wrong thing to open. Uh, the file is here, duh. Um, wow, okay. Let's try not to go past the level we're currently on like I accidentally did. Okay, uh, what level are we on now? I don't even remember. Oh, okay. Oh, it was just a pink ball going, oh, that's cool. Huh, for the double there, that's weird, I don't know. I guess because they can randomly go left or right from when they go down the arrows, they can still move sideways. That's 
oh, okay, maybe that was the, I don't know. I would have seen that had I gone up that way, but I didn't go that way. So, yeah. Anyways, enough of that. Um, I had a whole point to the beginning of this about being distracted. Made by William S. and Andrew G. Full House. <laughs> Sorry, that makes me think of the TV show, not, yeah. Ooh. Alright, this is interesting. It's implying Full House in terms of the blobs in the room, but oi, 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 oi. No, no, no. Come on. I'll go to one side, please, and then I can make it out. <laughs> but don't clog the exit, you know. You gotta have, gotta follow the rules. Nope. Okay. Um, I got lucky the first time, I guess, that they were all over there. Now I might not get so lucky. <laughs> hmm. Bummer. Well, that's okay. It gives me a chance to talk about my distracted story, which I started with, like, what, six minutes ago now. Aw. <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, speed this one because it's, nope. It's the first room. It's possible to speed run it and no. Okay, maybe I should just be patient and wait. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to try anyways because it's the first room. It doesn't matter, but okay. Aw, I was trying to go left and I went up and I would have had it. There we go. Alright, I'm not going to do that with this room. Okay, back to the story. I never finished my thought in the last video. Wow, very random. I broke for lunch and then somehow it came to me. Alright, enough of that. Somehow it came to me in my brain that I never finished my thought. Uh, there was one moment in the last video where I mentioned a train of thought and that I might have lost it, but I couldn't remember, and I thought maybe I had finished it. But apparently I hadn't, because I realized that I was talking about my New Year's resolution, and I don't ever remember finishing that thought. And I I know I had started it, but then I never finished it because, ooh, yay, ho, oh, I was worried my hesitation would screw me there. This is going to be a bear of a room. No, if I had been patient and waited, I could have had it. Dang. Okay, what happened was, yeah, I moved on because I died or something, and then something happened, and I, so I was talking about still trying to figure out this year's New Year's resolution since I hadn't really made one yet, but last year's was successful because I had actually made one and kept it because I never really did much with New Year's resolutions for a long time. There was one year I can remember... My parents had the idea that we were all going to make a resolution and fall through with it, which we, you know, we had dinner at home and we all thought up something and wrote them out on a um, piece of paper we had put on the back door to the cellar that was in the kitchen at the time, which is now the door to the pantry, but that's um, a different story. Um, yeah, it used to go to the basement, but uh, it's not... I was going to say that same door, but we changed doors when we changed it, I think, because of the shape of the, not the shape, like, you know, square, circle, triangle, but shape as in condition. Um, so anyways, yeah, where was I going with that? We had done resolutions, but we hadn't really done them, done them, like, every single year. That was, like, the only year I ever remember doing a New Year's resolution, like, actively as a family like with everybody we didn't really ever do it again or before or after or since or whatever but I did one this year and it was successful okay I'm paranoid about this room now no I was about to say how did I do that because I was gonna go left and avoid it but I died um so mine was to do stuff that was tackled Either something on my bucket list that I always wanted to do but never did. Yet, yeah, well, <laughs> always wanted to do but never did. There might be a reason why it's on the bucket list. Wow. Anyways, yes, the goal was to get out of my comfort zone and do some fun things. Slash bucket list, whatever. Anyways, I had started to say that um, <clears throat> I accomplished it because I sort of half checked off zip lining for my 30th birthday I did 
Um, I've always wanted to do that. That was on my bucket list. And no, no, no. I'm waiting. No. No, I should have gone left. Okay. Um, I <clears throat> was too afraid to just, let's go zip lining because I always wanted to do it but never done it before. I didn't want to just jump into zip lining full force and do like a full on tour zip line, whatever, day long thing or <clears throat> not day long, but like two hours or whatever type of thing. I wanted to try it out first because I have a thing with heights and which was perfect because the ski resort um, up north in Maine where I live has all these cool fun summer activity thingies that they have um, during the off season for people to come and have like family fun-ish type thing. They have, they do like a nine hole disc golf which is on the side of a hill and part of a couple of you know the bottom of a couple of ski trails but um it works out anyways and I'm gonna die but uh so yeah it's pretty cool they have all these other things and I may have mentioned this in a previous video so I'm not gonna get too much into detail but as a part of all the fun things that they have they do zip lining tour they have the full on like two hour day long type tour thing where you go, I think it's like six full lines or something, and you go from thing to thing. It's not full treetop to treetop because, whoa, there's some spots where you have to climb or walk or maybe not climb. I think, aren't you going down? I don't know. So you're either climbing or, you know, you're walking either up or down. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense because it's on a hill. I don't know which direction on the hill. Um you're going either higher or lower to get to the next one to, I don't know where they're situated along the mountain but that's unimportant point being okay every time e, uh -huh. um, point being they do do that and I do want to do that at some point which would be really fun but having never done a zip line before with a thick of heights I was really afraid so I wanted to test the waters and it's great because for the final zip line at the end of the full on tour you get to go down this little guy which is I thought was like the end of it like um no I thought it was at the end of the tour like you would take one to get to it and then the people who did, were just going to the end or something would like cut in somehow I didn't know how that worked but apparently it's totally separate from the rest of the tour and you can just do it at the end if you want to I guess I don't know how that works but regardless I need to stop saying anyways um there's just the singular one which is awesome and yes oh no yes okay uh <laughs> oh this is gonna be a tricky level hold on Okay, uh, sorry, the video started playing, which means it finally uploaded and it didn't give me a problem, which is good. Um, because I changed the file name. Oh, I hesitated and I, I would have had it. Oh my gosh. I changed the file name. I just added an A to the end of the file name and it worked fine. So now I can delete it because I have the same file that I, which is probably why I have the same file that I keep opening not opening saving over when I record the files I think I mentioned it before I just use the same file and then re-record over it once I'm done saving it in a different format for YouTube upload but that doesn't matter um, back to my story okay I chickened out um there's this like one little trial zip line thing from pole to pole which is basically right in front of you you can see it it's basically like walking to the end of your driveway maybe to get the mail or something if you have like a standard size driveway and you're going out of a door at the front of the driveway not the front of the house but like if you have an entrance out the back of your house and you're walking to the end of you know or a miniature street I guess I don't know it's not super long but it's from pole to pole 
Um, maybe it's a little, maybe it's, I don't know, two driveways long, I don't know, of a typical driveway, I don't know what that is, but anyways, that, why am I saying anyways, again, why am I just sitting there, um, that was a great way to get my feet wet, and so that's why I'm saying I half crossed it off my bucket list, because I'll cross it off my bucket list when I do an official full tour thing, but I have done it, so... I mean, you could technically consider it crossed off, but I don't consider it completely crossed off because it's not. I just tested the waters. I didn't go full bore. So that's what I mean when I say partially. But considering I did that for my 30th birthday and I went to, I made it to four concerts this year, although pretty hilariously to four different venues. Uh, well, I don't know if it's hilariously, but uh, why did I go up there? And my foot's asleep because I'm sitting on it. Um, <laughs> okay, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, I saw a concert at the Civic Center. Um, which is a smaller venue. I mean, it's big-ish, but it's not like a major venue. So I saw a concert there. I saw Brian Adams at the Civic Center, and then I saw, okay, I have to think of the order. Then I saw Sarah McLaughlin at an outdoor pavilion up north, um, and that was a little bit bigger, but it was outdoors, and it was, you know, it's like a summer concert-y type place. And then I saw the Eagles at TD Garden, so that's bigger, because that's where, like, the Celtics and the Bruins play and stuff like that in Boston, so that's much bigger, and then I saw, uh, what is his name, <laughs> Mark Schultz, at a church in Auburn, so, because <laughs> he's a Christian singer and he only plays at churches, but that's beside the point, maybe not only, but they're, and they're not like, well, the first time I saw him in concert, it was more of a church church, but it seems like everyone that the church that he's played at yes okay that's safe provided it's oh no more lemmings haha <laughs> just kidding oh that was my opportunity i am too chicken i i gotta wait for them to all go one way and then maybe no fungu you um <laughs> this is cool though this is fun I like that the blobs are first. I'm so appreciative of that. Anything is possible with the randomness out of the way. That is huge. So thank you for that. But yes. So four different concerts. At, why did I do that? I was playing chicken and he won because I was being a chicken rather than going away and exiting. Okay, why am I still doing that? That Alright, wait for it. Ish. Wait for it. Okay, every, I can't say that without thinking of psych. I don't know why. I can't do wait for it without doing it in the... Ah. It's like a famous phrase if you've ever heard somebody say it or, I don't know, a certain something from a song or whatever. And, you, like, every time you say something and it's like the same thing you can't help but do it in the voice or the whatever like you have to do it in the way it was done in like the movie or whatever you have to do it in the in character and i can't ah uh, i can't help but do that now so ever since then but yes i saw f four concerts and crossed off a bucket list item so that's definitely my new year's resolution from this year in the bag. The problem is trying to figure out this year's now. I think I just said this and this because now that's technically the next year. I should have said that. But beside the point. No. Okay. Yeah, so that's the problem is figuring out one for this year because that one was so much awesomeness. I don't know if I wanted to. I mean, I kind of feel like I should because I was successful in completing my goal for this year's past years um <laughs> now comes the trick also in writing 15 
instead of 14 like on checks or calendars or whatever I type it in in places or a trickle boot to remember changing the 4 to a 5 which will probably take me a while <laughs> I think it was earlier this year I accidentally wrote 2012 on something now that's sad because it was 2014 I just said earlier this year this is 2015 but yesterday was I could have said this year well not this year but this year yesterday this year implied 2014 rather than 2015 so when I said it so it could have applied but anyways yeah earlier in 2014 I think there was uh, this calendar I'd put up on the fridge for my work schedule so I can be reminded of it and yeah I write like it's a dry erase one with four separate week bars that you can Oh, ho, ho, chickening out almost screwed me and then I got killed there. Uh, yeah, it's, you have the four weeks, so when the top week is over, you can move it to the bottom and you can constantly rotate it. And you're not forced to do one full month at a time. So I love it because I can constantly keep updating the month at a time on a weekly basis. So it keeps rolling up. So it's never... I'm never like way behind although pff, right now I think I am way behind but that's yay okay let's just concentrate here let's wait for what seems like a good moment which probably will be never but that's okay that's not it no jerk um Anywho, yeah, I don't know what I want to do for my bucket list. For my, that did that. Wow, brain fart. New Year's resolution. Bucket list was on my brain, so I was talking about it, and yeah, I don't know. It's nice to just kind of have a resolution because then I can kind of force myself to adhere to it, and then I don't get complacent and not do anything with my life. Well, that didn't come out right, but you know what I mean. I'm an introverted type of person who has a tendency to, I don't know, just be happy and not doing anything and being a lump of coal at home and, or, well, not a lump of coal, but I do love doing things. I just, I don't know, I need the resolution to kind of keep me to actually pursuing it and not just crapping out and then not go getting anywhere as a result of I don't know <laughs> so yeah but um I don't know what you've got for your resolutions if you keep any but hopefully they're gonna be nice and good and wonderfully awesome and whatever and whatnot and I don't know I'm totally drawing a blank now which means it's probably a good time as any to cut further and to stop replaying this a hundred times because reasons yeah okay I totally just copied uh <laughs> wow flare on 350 there I think from some video I don't know because reasons yeah <laughs> that totally just sounded like him but ish not really because never mind but anyway no I said anyway again all right Cutting further to when I get back there. Yeah. <laughs> Holy wow. Hallelujah. Finally made it back here. After some dumb attempts with blobs. Yes. Okay. So now I have to figure out. Not that. Fongu, that's what I was trying to avoid. Why did I go? What possible motive could I have had to go right there? Seriously, why did I go right when I did? I think because I was thinking it was coming up to hit me, even though they were falling behind me. Ugh, fudge. Well, yeah. Okay, back here. Now, let's see if I can do this so that I don't die. Okay, they hit up on each other right there. So as long as I, if I follow there... Uh, yeah, I'm wait a second, then I can go behind him. 
and I shouldn't hopefully chicken out. There we go. Oh no. Seriously? This is not going to work out well at all. Is it? Maybe I need to wait for them to get in some sort of a better pattern. <laughs> not that there is going to be one, but I don't know. I just can't handle this. Uh, after all that, I'm sorry, no. If that was all that the level entailed, then I'm okay with that. If this is the end of the level, well, then that's good too, but I don't think so. Oy vey, oy vey, oy vey. And I'm running down the clock because I don't want to move. I'm too paranoid. Seriously. I don't know when to, I gotta wait for them to go down there. Okay. They were in a good pattern before, I think, and I chickened out, so maybe I should have gone then. I don't know. I want to go along the top, but that's not seeming to be like that's going to be a good move, at least right now. Okay, come on. Get the paramecium somewhere else, like where he was when I started this thing. <laughs> Uh, no, this is not good at all. I'm sorry, I'm just sitting here, but no, uh, I don't think I can go. Uh, oh, that would have been a good opportunity. Okay, get out of there. Oh, I'm too chicken. I don't want to die. Oh, that would probably would have been perfect. Uh huh. My being scared is gonna what's gonna make me die. I just have to go for it. I know that, but er Alright, let's wait for it to line up and then just run it. Run it. Got it. Run for it. Go for it. Whatever. Wow. Okay, get out of there. I need the B and the paramecium to be somewhere else. Maybe I should go along the fall. I feel like I'm closer to the top though. Okay. I'm going to wait for them to get back down there again and then just find my break, maybe. And. No. Yeah. Go for it. That was a bad idea. Mm. Well, you get the idea. This is going to be take number 103, probably by the time I get back there, because it's already take 50 something, probably just getting here. So, yeah, see you then. Okay, Starfish Girl here back, admitting that, whoa, I, um, was striking out here completely. I have not been able to find a way past this room whatsoever. I thought I had, like, three times. I can make it right there, but I die every time. I just can't get through to this square here from this spot. I, I haven't been able to get the configuration down so I can make it over here. So, yeah, I decided to try ghosting from this spot <laughs> of gravel over here with no success, no matter, I mean, I'm sure there's one path where it works, but I haven't been able to find it yet or get it to work. So I can't imagine having to do that after everything else I did. Then I discovered, well, I was seeing parts of this, and so I said, hmm, I should check this out. Uh, yeah, there is no way, I mean, this relies on step, which is, yeah, you can't, if this were at the beginning of the level, having to deal with odd or even step, I think it would be fine, but because it's all the way here, hmm. Well, that's possible, I guess. But, yeah, see? I can't seem to get it. And so I'm just going to call this one. It's a really awesome level. There's just a few things. I mean, I like, it's a great idea and concept. It's a great challenge. And I love, like, all the stuff at the beginning parts. And this part is really cool if it worked out, if it were to work out, I think this is like really cool. 
It's just collectively together. It's not going to be possible. Yeah, it relies too much on luck in some places that, you know, there's probably a one in a million chance in a lifetime of actually solving this and I don't have the time. <laughs> Even if everything, the stars align perfectly, I just don't have the time to sit around and wait for that to happen. So I don't know. I can show you in the editor. It's a really, I really like the idea. I just love this level. Um, let's see. Uh, where is it? Wow, I'm totally blinking. <laughs> yeah, you just saw some of my desktop. I had to open it in the little menu thinger because, um, and I think you just saw part of my background. Um, I have YouTube open in the background uploading a crusty video and so I couldn't reach the desktop without minimizing it. Anyway, um, oh yeah, I'll have to reduce this because you really can't, whoa, okay, I didn't mean to reduce it that much. You can't see everything. Um, well, you don't care about the, uh, uh, okay, let me move this over. I'm trying to fit it in the screen so you can see. Yeah, you don't care about the, um, oh, whatever the heck this bar is on the side with all the pieces of level tiles. Yeah, you don't care about that. Anyways, this is basically, yeah. So this part is fine. This whole thing all the way to here is great. It's just these two sections, if it weren't for those or if they were made possible, like if you had to get the teeth out but not rely on odd or even step or something or maybe more like spooks, I don't know what to do to solve this part. I, I think it's a great idea unless they're like hidden behind some of the locks or something and I don't know, when you walk around the corner, they'll start chasing you, and then you have to find a path around, maybe? I don't know. It's just these two sections are preventing me from solving this level, which I really like the dodging concept, and this is, I love this section. That is so cool. With the teeth and the teleports, I think that's awesome. Well, I didn't even realize there was one there, so you'd have to figure out which one, wait a minute, which one would you go down? You would have to, if you went down from this one, you would end up over there, but since you can't, you would have to go down from the one before, which you can't. So would you have to go down this one? Yeah, I think you would have to go down this one to come out down here. And then I really like this. This is, um, I bet you this is inspired from Fortune Favors the, is that the one I'm thinking of? No. Not fortune favors the is it fortune favors the or is it um not shrinking oh, what the heck is it called oh you know the level oh my gosh oh, I even used it in my level tanks for the memories or tanks for the memories too I can't remember which one I used it no tanks for the memories I used it in that which level is that from oh my gosh it's the one where you have the, um, oh my gosh, that is going to, do I have the list or did I throw it out? I had the list of, oh, that's my, <laughs> I was like, what is that? Those were all the sounds I was using to replace for all of these. These are the replacement sound list. That's the level list and numbers of level sets I have in mind and how many levels long they are. Um, no, that's another list of sounds that I was using. Where is, oh my gosh, that is going, I don't think I have it anymore. I think I threw it out. But I had a list of the different um, level, no, I must still have it because I wanted to make another one. Those are level, huh, those are level name ideas. Where's the, oh, here we go. Um, okay, torture chamber, wow, that would, be <laughs> don't you hate it when something is on your tongue and it won't come out? It was literally in my brain, it was on my tongue, but it wasn't coming out. Torture chamber, 
That's what this reminds me of. Wow. Yeah, torture chamber. Except in that one, it's where you have the two gliders and the two fireballs. So two are going this way and two are going that way. And there's four ice tiles and this is a um, gravel tile. I, something similar. Anyways, you get the idea. That might be where the inspiration came from or some other level. I don't know. I just think that's really cool. And this is cool. Only, wait, is that going south? Okay, I was thinking something was going this way. For some reason, that would not be possible. Never mind. Ooh, and you're given the ice skates, too. Wow. Yeah, this is kind of a nightmare, like shrinking. And then this is just, and uh, this is really cool. Uh, this is an okay I, challenge. I like that. And I love this part. Like, all the parts individually are awesome. I think it's a really cool level. It's just, I cannot get past these two sections right here after having to get past all of that. So I, maybe this was something that thought was thought of as fun. Like, oh, let's see him get through that challenge and not realizing maybe that this didn't really work perfectly or I don't know. Maybe they solved it too. I just having too much trouble it's not impossible, maybe. Maybe this is impossible, I don't know. But the stars would really have to align and I would have to have no life in order to get past this section. But I really do like the rest of the level, so I don't really know what to do. I mean, it's gonna obviously have to be unsolvable. You saw me make it all the way through to here. Maybe I can just ghost. Maybe I'll start chip here ghosting and I can do the rest of this level just so you can get a feel for it and then call it solved ish not really I don't know that that's cheating sort of but I mean I really like it and I want to keep playing I'm just bummed that this isn't working out to my favor so maybe I'll just ghost and you can see some of this section maybe that's what I'll do I've wasted enough time talking all right that's enough of that um yeah I'll see you back soon okay Yes, back here. Let's see, I really do like this level, so... Ruh row. That's not good. I can't solve this. Oh. Okay, never mind. You would just do that because he blocks up that. Yeah, this seriously reminds me of Torture Chamber and that's not the right way to do it. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> wow, I was forgetting where I came out through the teleport. Okay. There we go. Yeah, see this? Oh. Whoops, that was not right. I can't do it when I have to go the other direction. Oh my gosh, I can do it going left and then I have to go right and then I totally lose it. Okay. Except not. There we go. See, this would be a really fun... Is this even possible? No. I don't know if that part's possible. Well, anyways, you saw some of this. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I really want to do that. This is a really good idea. And now I want to put something just like this in one of my levels. Which I haven't designed a level in forever. But you never know. Because I randomly get spurts of... Uh, Okay, it is possible. I randomly get spurts of inspiration to design a level. I get in the mood and then I just go hog wild and basically laugh at all my old levels from the beginning of my set in the process because, yeah, some levels in my set that I've been working on for like, I don't know, five years or more probably maybe I don't even remember how long and I totally blanked out there uh are just hilarious because yeah they don't make any sense they started out with a good idea but they didn't get anywhere and whoops okay that's enough of that I, I made it once though so now I'm like determined to make it but yes I really want this in a level of mine maybe I'll switch it up a little somehow I don't know make it my own but Nope, I can't seem to get it now. Alright, no use playing a level that's not solvable anyways due to that section. 
I'm just going to say that you saw my struggles and call it good because, yeah, I'm just going to move on to the next level, which I need to do in the actual, hold on, <laughs> forgot I was in the ghost gang set that I created and I need to be in the actual set. Ooh, what's up there? Nothing, I'm guessing. Okay. This looks like an interesting level. For now, I just want to go around the outside. Is this the way back? That must be the way back. Okay, that's awesome. Um, hmm. Okay. No. Uh. There we go. Okay, this looks like fun. Nice. Okay. Score, 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 score. I love levels like this. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Um. Oh, I have to go from down there. Okay, so now I gotta move on to the next section. Where, where am I going? What am I doing? Okay. Okay. There we go. No, no, no. Now I feel like force field. Ah. Uh, go how am I supposed to get that chip seriously okay it is possible to glitch up through that and that one too okay cool now this gives me a moment to think okay uh no 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 I have to go okay there we go uh how am I supposed to get that one okay I have to go right when I go, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 where am I going? Okay. Score, I didn't expect that I would get that one. And I need to, um, okay, I need to somehow... No, how? Oh, because it forces me down. Wow, I'm sorry I'm not talking right now. My brain is on solving this, and I, yeah, 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 yeah. Where does it take me? Okay. No, I need to, there we go. Okay. Oh. I trapped myself. Great. <laughs> Well, since this video has gone on long enough, maybe I'll stop it here and I'll start this level in the next video since I just realized the time on the clock. Till then, Starfish Girl signing out, saying thanks for watching and see you next time.